let's open a package. Hey, hi, hello, and welcome to the show. My name is Dida Bionic, if you didn't know, and I am black. With unmoisturized skin, and we're gonna cure it with what's in this box for the yard. Okay, so, full disclosure, I heard some rumblings about Sephora being a brand that supports genocide. Um, and that sucks, but I ordered all this stuff from the Sephora sale because I needed to replenish my skincare. And yeah, I wanted to share that with you guys. And I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on in the world. I don't know what to do or how to do anything. Um, but I do not support genocide and the government can keep sending me emails about my student loan repayments, but until they stop supporting genocide, they will not be getting a check from me. So I am making this video as a means to, um, be a little bit of light in the world. Um, again, I purchased, bitch. All the things I purchased in this box are things that I have either used before that I love or things that I'm trying for the first time or things that um, my best friend put me on when I went up to visit her. You can support what you want to support. You can support what you don't want to support. I'm not here to pressure you. I'm just here to make content on the internet and tell you do not support genocide. That will get you judged real quickly over here. But as for what's in this box, it makes my skin feel good. And I want to share with you what makes my skin feel good. So let's get into it. I have never shopped the Sephora sale before. And I was very excited to have a little bit of extra Quintada this month. Um, to replenish all of my skincare that has completely run out. I am very fortunate to be able to do that. And... So let's get into this unboxing video. Hey, if you're new here, my name is DJ Bionic. Thank you so very much for tuning in. I make content about skincare, makeup. I make music. Um, I do all kinds of things. A DIY content. So if you like any of that, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get a notification. Every single time I post a video, I post weekly. Um, and I've got some new music coming out. So you definitely want to stay tuned. And some more makeup videos coming out as well. Stay tuned. I got lots going on. Let's get into the video. Ah! Okay, so I'm very excited about this. I don't know what to start with. I'm going to start with the things I have used before. So, first and foremost, a little asthma moment. This is the Unseen Sunscreen from Glow. I almost said Glow Recipe Honey from Super Goop. Um, I'm not going to open this because the one I have is not completely empty, but I just needed to restock. This and the Black Girl Sunscreen have been the best SPFs that I have used. The Black Girl Sunscreen has a weird fragrance to it. It's not even a fragrance. It just has a weird smell to it that goes away once you like are wearing it. But like first out of the bottle, it smells a little funky. But it is really good, especially if you are a brown person and you don't want white cast. That and this... If you want to support a black owned brand, definitely go buy that Black Girl Sunscreen. It is amazing. I really, really love it. And if you are a black person that thinks you don't need to wear SPF, get your head out of your ass and put some goddamn SPF on. Jesus. Unseen sunscreen. This retails. This retails for 38 doll hairs. I think I got the. I usually get the bigger, bigger one. They usually do like a limited, big, big size. Um, 40. SPF 40, Unseen Sunscreen, good shit. Glow Recipe, Watermelon Glow, Niacinamide Dew Drops. Listen, if you don't use Niacinamide, you need to. It's very good for your skin. This, I am going to take out of the box because I haven't had it in such a long time. I got like a little sample of it and I was obsessed. Anybody who knows me knows that I love for my skin to be glowy. I love glowy, radiant skin. So this, they smell delicious. The packaging is recyclable. Look at the bottle. And beautiful, amazing. Love this. We love her. She retails for $35. 
Pharmacy Whipped Greens. I haven't had this in a really long time. This lasted me a very long time. It's an oil-free foaming cleanser. Um, I have really dry skin. And so for my cleansers, I usually typically lean away from oil-based cleansers. Not because I don't think the oils will help, but I, most cleansers dry out my skin. There are very few cleansers that don't dry out my skin. This does not dry my skin out. This and the Fenty Total Cleanser are the only cleansers that don't dry my skin out in an uncomfortable way um, when I use them. I love the way this smells. I love everything about this. Ugh. It's really good for removing makeup too. I know they have a green clean makeup remover, but this cleanser is everything to me. This retails for 28 dollars. That's it for things that I have used before. <laughs> Moving on to some new items. We have this. Now, I this is a Fenty Beauty Stan account. Fenty Skin, specifically. Anyway, this is a Rihanna Stan account. I am running out of, I am running out of my absolute favorite lip oil. This is the House Labs um, PhD lip oil in the shade Secondary. It, 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 this is one of the best things I've ever used ever. Um, and I don't believe they sell it in the full size anymore. They only have the minis. This is the, what is it called? Cherry Treat Conditioning and Strengthening Lip Oil. Uh, conditions, cushions, leaves a light kiss of shine. So it's a little bit of color, which is what I like. These bottles are little as hell, but they get you a long way. Let's see what it smells like. It smells so good and I love the doe foot. I love the applicators like that. It's a big one. Um, this retails for $24. I'm going to be carrying this around with me. I'm waiting until this is completely gone though, but this smells delicious. Next up we have, this was a bit of a splurge, honey. This was a bit of a splurge. This and the other thing that's in this box, um, Paula's Choice. My best friend was like, you got to try this. Um, Paula Choice C5 Super Boost Vitamin C Moisturizer. Now, I don't like oranges. I don't like things that smell like oranges. I don't like the smell or fragrance of oranges. But I love vitamin C. Vitamin C is really good for brightening and glowing the skin. And she let me put this on. And baby, it feels like crack cocaine on the skin, honey. Oh my God, it feels so good. Uh, Miss Paula. And I, <laughs> I always thought Paula's Choice was like, no shade but an old lady brand <laughs> Paula if you're watching girl I love you um, but this retails for 45 bucks it made my skin feel amazing I'm very excited to implement this into my skincare routine okay and the last skincare related thing is probably the one I'm the most excited about and that is this Laneige listen I like luxury skincare I, I have to admit I do love my drugstore and I do buy them and use them quite regularly but I love me some luxury I can't help it I'm a whore for luxury so this is the Laneige Radiance C brightening treatment essence I and essence is the only thing that's been missing from my skincare skincare routine I use a toner I moisturizer SPF all the things missed all the stuff down but in essence, it's the only thing that I was like, I don't really know if I see the point. This retails for $39. And first of all, this bottle is gigantic. You only need a little bit of this. Um, it smells delicious. Glass, luxury, amazing, expensive. We love her. Um, again, another thing my best friend was like, you have to try this. Felt very good on the skin. These two together with the fat water milky toner with the glow recipe. My skin already looks good. Like I said, I haven't washed or done any skincare today. Uh, once I finish unboxing, I'm going to go and do my skincare so y'all can see the difference. And so y'all can realize that you need to stop washing your face with that motherfucking three in one body wash. Using aspartame on your goddamn face. Ugh. So I did get a free little gifty gift. This is from Sunday Riley. I've been wanting to try Sunday Riley. Uh, this is the high dose retinoid serum. 
Um, I don't know if I'm gonna try this today. I have something that I'm a project I'm gonna be filming over the next couple days um, for music that's coming out. I'll try this probably sometime next week. Very excited. Okay, there are three more things in this box. Two of which, I'm very happy about. If y'all know me, y'all know I love Forever Mood. Y'all know this is a Jackie Ina Stan account, okay? We stand Jackie, 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 in this house. So, some of my favorite candles have been discontinued. They're reformulating. I have since gotten new candles from, um, I'm still a part of the self-care club. I love that they call it self-care club now instead of candle club. I'm still a part of it. Right now I have last month's candle going, my last candle from that one. This is Wish Somebody Woods. Very woody, very delicious. This is from this month, October's Self Care Club. As well as this one, You Autumn Know. This is my kind of candle fragrance. Woody, it's nutty. It's got some, uh, some sweetness to it. It's like caramely. Very, this one I like. Not more than the other one. The other one just, I know the fragrance is going to be so incredible once it's lit. But this smells delicious. So, Jackie Anderson account. Love Forever Mood Candles. I could show you my collection of, of empty candle um, jars that I'm going to reuse. I wanted to try um, one candle I have, I've gotten three times now. <laughs> I love this candle. As an earth sign, Capricorn Sun, Virgo Moon. I absolutely love, 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 not down to earth. It is, oh, this, it smells witchy, and I don't know if that was the intent, but I love witchy smelling things, and to me, things that smell witchy are like dark and mysterious, but also light in a weird way. It's like fresh and almost citrusy, but it's got that like woody, earthy undertone. It's very, I feel like I smell like this. I feel like this is what I want and strive to smell like. Woody, citrusy, fresh, witchy. Love this candle. This is my third time getting it. But one candle from the core collection that I had never tried is matcha business and i know that they just relaunched this candle as matcha besties so i got this candle because i want to try this one compared to matcha besties oh that's divine oh that's good it's coconutty it's it's got that earthiness from the matcha but it's not overpowering it's very sweet but not like sickeningly sweet it's like it smells like a coffee shop and like hold on hold on a minute listen if you're not layering your fragrances on your body as well as in your home are you even living ah oh, these two together so this is delicious oh, holy cow um i i cannot wait to get matcha besties and i want to do i probably won't do it here on youtube i might do like a little youtube short or whatever but i'm gonna do a comparison a side by side sniff test with matcha besties and uh matcha business to see which one smells better if it smells anything like this i want 20 of them and the very last thing so i got into makeup a couple years ago i've always loved makeup i've always been obsessed i used to watch that show all the time on um um on fx face off so i've like special effects makeup i've always been into the modeling shows and all the good stuff love makeup once i started wearing it myself i got even more obsessed with makeup but the makeup releases lately have not been makeup releasing they have not been giving me what i need i have not been living for them um, I feel like it's been a lot of the same palettes over and over again. Honestly, this palette that I have is still kind of in that genre, but I, you'll see. If you know anything about me, the, the sweater that I'm wearing right now is a hint to what the palette is. But it, I've been waiting to buy. I haven't bought a palette since my Warrior... God... 
it's like a Juvia's Place palette and it's an older Juvia's Place palette. I haven't bought any makeup because I just haven't been inspired. And I was looking for a palette that inspired me. What I really wanted was that Natasha Denona, oh, that Xenon, whatever the hell it is palette, the all black one, baby. I got a notification on for when that one comes back in stock because I will be getting it expeditiously. But until then, I did get a little eyeshadow palette because I do like the color story. It's probably the most accurate color story that I've seen. Um, this is the Milk Cosmetics X Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas eyeshadow palette, the Halloween Town palette. The Christmas Town palette was not a serve or a slay. It, it did not look brown girl friendly. Um, but this one does have a much better color story in my personal opinion. Um, I've not tried Melt's eyeshadow palettes. I've wanted to. I know they did. Um, I think that was Melt that did that like Muerta y um, it's like a life and death palette. It's like a combo palette. I remember that. I love the shape of this palette first and foremost. I love that it's Oogie Boogie. You don't see a lot of Oogie Boogie branding. Um, the, the unicorn is gorgeous. I love Lock, Shock, and Barrel on the back. So let's bust her open. This is my first time seeing her in person. I've, saw, I've seen it online several many times, but I haven't seen it in person. So let's get a little look-see at what she looks like on the inside. Oh, I didn't want to rip it. Oh, I'm ripping it even more. Now, this eyeshadow palette is a little pricey. It retails for 60 bucks. Wasn't it terrifying? Oh, I love it. I don't know if y'all can tell, but the front is like, it moves. This is so cute. So, here we are. Of course, a little thing there. I'm going to cover up this. Here is the color story. Now see, this is more my speed. We got some purples, we got some greens. This orange really is giving me everything I need in my life. I do really like this color story a lot and I'm probably gonna do an eyeshadow look with this today. So, I'm that's everything I got in my haul. I'm very excited about all the things. I am gonna go do my skincare using some of my new products. So, I'm getting in close. Take my glasses off. Here's what my skin looks like. No product. Haven't even washed my face yet. I'm gonna go wash my face, do my skincare, get into my zhuzh, and then I'll come back and do a look with the eyeshadow palette. I'll be right back. A few moments later. Okay, my dear friends, this is the look I came with. Came up with the skin is skinning after the delicious, beautiful, gorgeous, amazing skincare that I just did. Um, I really like this eyeshadow palette. I knew Melt's palettes were really good. The color story is great. The orange did exactly what I thought it was going to do. Um, I'm excited to play around with this a little bit more. I feel like there's a couple more looks you can pull out of this. Uh, other than that, everything was a 10 out of 10. If you like these videos, if you like me, if you like unboxings, hauls, DIY content, music, I'm putting out some new music soon. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you get a notification. Every single time I post a video, I post once a week, sometimes twice a week. Who knows? I'm feeling frisky these days. And um, make sure you hit the links down below to shop Lunar Tides Hair Color, to buy my merch, to support me on all of my social media. It's at DJ Bionic everywhere. It's called Branding. Look it up. And I will see you all in the next video. Love you. Mean it. Bye. Okay, so I, <clears throat> oh, hey, <laughs> not me just going into it. Hey, hi, hello, and welcome to the show. My name is D. Bionic. 